thing. Okay, back on the steel. So um, I cleared out all these smaller ones. Uh, so I had room. I pushed them all together because uh, to get the material handler in here with the street, it's close. So I had to push everything all up and uh, organize everything. But I just wanted to show you those copes so you can see what they're doing and what they look like. So, um, so these these get cut like we were talking about, and that's half the width of the flange. So it's only this half. So. Uh, both sides cut and cut and then and then this this gets cut out here this line so you see now it's gone that gets cut right out of there so the, it gets cut out so there's a tongue the tongue sticks out and then I come in with the grinder and bevel this back a few degrees because um, then I'm gonna bevel back where it meets a few degrees so there's a there's a basically a slot for the weld to go because when the weld goes in there it's going to fill back all this steel the way it was if it just butted just butted like that there would only be just a little surface weld there which is not structural so it's got to go all the way down and fill in this void so that's what those look like you got to bevel the bottoms the same direction because <clears throat> these sit on plates and I can't get on the underside and weld this. It's it's got to be welded from the top side. So when it sit on the plates and it meets the one coming this way, I can weld these from each side wherever there's a side to get in and weld. Like see this situation here? This goes up against the tall columns. I can't even get in there and weld. It's going to be, uh, the welding is going to be taking place on the outside on those. And then I do have access on the top. I can fill that. And then this goes inside and plugs in here. When they come across, they plug in. And they sit in a little ways, you know, half the width of the flange. And then actually before these go up, this has to get beveled back. This gets beveled back in that direction, so it makes that... It makes enough room for me to get the tip of the MIG welder in there so I can fill this. This all gets filled in. And then and then it comes down and I, and I put a, um, a fillet bead along the side. Uh, fill it well along the sides and then I fill in the bottoms too. I fill, fill in along the bottom of each side. And then that's it. That's how those weld up. And then this plates that bolt later on. There's but plates that come in here and make a transition. They bolt to each side and sandwich these these wide plates in the opposite direction. Um, so then we clean, clean this up and bevel this because it's going to meet up with the curve. It's going to meet up with this curve in here when it comes in. So that's it. I just wanted to show you what the copes look like. That's what they look like. So.